Okay, today we're going to look at example number nine from the worksheet. Aluminum hydroxide and sulfuric acid neutralized to make water and aluminum sulfate. So let's first look at aluminum hydroxide. We know that aluminum is Al, and it has a plus three, three charge. We know hydroxide has a minus one charge. So when I put aluminum and hydroxide together, I have to have three hydroxides. So my formula is going to be Al, parenthesis, OH, parenthesis, 3. Because this tells me that I have three of the polyatomic ion hydroxide. Now we're going to add that together with sulfuric acid. Now we know sulfuric comes from sulfate, which is SO4, and a minus 2 charge. So we need to have enough hydrogen to make it acid to cancel out the negative 2 charge. So I have H plus, and I'm putting two of those together. So that's going to give me H2SO4. Now it says it's making water, which we know is H2O, plus aluminum sulfate. We know aluminum has a plus 3 charge. We know that sulfate has a minus 2 charge. So if I look at that, that means that I have to have two aluminums and three sulfates in order to get a balanced charge, because the two times the three will give us plus six, and the three times the negative two will give us a minus six, so the charges will cancel each other out. So we're going to have Al sub two SO4, and the SO4 has to be inside parentheses because I have three of them. So now we have our chemical equation. Now let's see if we can balance it. So we're going to start out with our reactants and our products. We have aluminum as our metal, we have sulfur as our nonmetal, and then we have hydrogen and oxygen. oxygen. So if we look at aluminum, right now this side aluminum only has one. But if we look at this side, our aluminum has two. So that means that we need to change the coefficient in front of the aluminum to a two. So then we have two aluminums. Now if we look at the sulfur, on this side our sulfur we only have one. But on this side our sulfur we have a three outside, so three times the S which is only one gives us three. So that means that we need to change the coefficient in front of our sulfuric acid to three. So now we have three sulfurs. Now let's look at the hydrogens. Now we have two times the three hydrogens that are in here, so that gives us a total of six hydrogens. But we also have to look at the three times the four of these hydrogens. So I had six hydrogens from the aluminum hydroxide. I have 12 hydrogens from my sulfuric acid, and six plus 12 give, or six, yeah, six plus 12 is gonna give us 18 hydrogens. Let's look on this side. Well here, there's nothing in front of that at all. I counted the wrong number of hydrogens. On this there's only six hydrogens. So we have six hydrogens here and six hydrogens here. So that's 12 hydrogens. So if we look on this side, to get 12 hydrogens we're going to have to put a six in front of our water. Because six times two will give us 12. Now let's look at the oxygens. Here again we have the two times the three oxygens in there. So that's six. And now we have six plus the 3 times 4, which is 12, that will give us 18 oxygen. So look at this side, we have 6 oxygen plus 12 oxygen, which gives us 18 oxygen as well. So now we have it balanced, where we have 2 aluminum hydroxide plus 3 sulfuric acid gives us 6 water plus 1 aluminum sulfate. Have a great day. Bye-bye.